Coming up, using capture the flag competitions to learn pen testing. Penetration testers are hackers that work for companies to find security vulnerabilities. I mean, it's lucrative work if you can get it. But first, you gotta get good. Do it! And that is where capture the flag competitions come in. They are fantastic hands-on experience for both aspiring and veteran security professionals. These are events where one team attempts to locate and capture an opposing team's flag while also defending their own. It's just like the first-person shooter game mode. Though the flag, in this case, is usually a snippet of code, a piece of hardware, perhaps it's a file. This is known as a red team, blue team style of competition, or perhaps more formally as attack defend. Competitions may also be Jeopardy style. That's where teams earn points by solving problems. The more difficult the task, the more points you earn. These are actually easier than red team, blue team to play solo. They are readily available online, and there's a list of some popular ones in the description. Security is so hard because you need to know everything. It's networking and programming and software, and you'll find it all in these five types of CTF objectives. Binary exploitation. Binary exploitation is the stuff you typically think of when you think hacker. It means hijacking the control flow or gaining privileges that you shouldn't have. It all comes down to making an application act differently than how it was intended to run for your benefit. Reverse engineering. Reverse engineering means you are ripping an application apart with the goal of seeing how it works so you can bend it to your will and hopefully capture the flag. Cryptography. Cryptography presents an interesting challenge. It's mostly string conversions from one format to another. For instance, you might be given something like this. In that example, there were a bunch of hex encoded ciphertext and one of them has been encrypted with ECB. You've got to find it, go. Web exploitation. With web exploitation, you'll be using tools like Nmap, Wireshark, and Metasploit to find inroads through cross-site scripting, SQL injection, and directory traversal. You can even find easier flags with Chrome developer tools. Yikes. Forensics. Finally, forensics can cover a lot of ground. It can be something as simple as finding text or an executable hidden in this image of Jeremy Chara. Harder challenges may require digging into registries, logs, and in-memory to find flags. As you practice, you'll probably find that you enjoy one type of problem over the others. It's totally fine to go deep into one area, and as a matter of fact, it's recommended. When preparing for a CTF competition, write-ups will be your best friend. Remember that as a white hat, you're hacking with a goal in mind, to develop a fix. That's what write-ups are. They document the vulnerability and how you exploited it. And there are a ton of them. So find them and read up. We recommend you start with online Jeopardy style competitions. Find the objectives that interest you most and just start working. Use write-ups to check your answers and don't forget Keith Barker's White Hat Hacking course. Good luck, get good, and beware of the dark side. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more from CBT Nuggets.